everybody, welcome back. My name is Krovix, and today we are back on this wonderful epic game called what? I don't know what it's called. It is called T Aria or T Area, however the fuck you want to say. Does it really matter? No, it fucking does not. Get used to it the way I'm saying it. Capiche, capiche. Anyways. Today I will be doing um, a setup review of my own setup that I use for battling every day. Just my normal everyday battles that I do in this game, like whether it be it for a boss or events or just walking around in town in general. This does not matter. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it, guys. I will meet you right there in two seconds. One, two. All right, guys. So our first item for my, I guess you could say, my setup review. Plus, it's my armors and weapon review. So, for my first weapon that I use, it will be the Paladin Sammer. The Paladin Sammer is a really, really great weapon. It's great for crowd control and whatnot. Wait, hold on. There we go. My uh, Paladin Sammer is great for crowd control and just doing damage in general. If you're doing the Pumpkin King event or the Pumpkin Moon event, this is really good for taking down the Pumpkin King himself. Um, it You just constantly keep on hitting it. You have to keep on pushing it. It's not a rapid button. If you hit it once... You hold it, doesn't do anything. You have to keep on pressing the button. Kind of sucks, but kind of makes sense. Doesn't make it from too overpowered to say, I guess, in a way, something like that. But that's other than that. We're moving on to the vampire knives. The vampire knives are a great weapon, especially if you're becoming a tank character like mine is. I guess you could say this uh, setup review is more of a tank class setup because the my um, weapons and armor over here are like kind of like all tanky. So for the vampire knives, the reason why I say you should have these is because um, with potions, you can only um, using the greater healing potions only allows you you can't use another potion that involves healing for another minute, so or even like lesser healing potions or just the crappy ones in general. So this is always good to have, and they have some pretty great range too, as you can see right there. All right, guys. Next up on our items or weapons that I use for my setup is the legendary horseman's blade. This blade is really really great i like this 10 times more than the actual terra blade even though the terra blade that i have is legendary and does more damage i like this um the horseman's blade because for those of you who don't know once you get it whenever you hit a mob it has to you have to touch them obviously you can't just be like the hair blade where it just shoots uh you actually have to use you actually get close up to face to face with the mob in order for it to actually work and what it does if there's a mob nearby right, here we go what it does is it summons in a pumpkin that um, will attack the mob for you. So say if you're fighting the Pumpkin King, it just summons a bunch of pumpkins that could actually damage him. I believe for the same damage that your sword is, so like mine does 136, so I believe whenever the pumpkin um, the pumpkin head spawn in, they did the exact same damage, 136. So, I mean, that's always really good. I don't want that or that. Okay. Next up, guys, I have a hook because um, I have an arena that I use, and like the arena that I use... It's always good to have a hook, just like get away from the Pumpkin King or Frost Queen, whoever you're fighting away in time and whatnot, which is always really good. But uh, it doesn't matter what hook you use. I use the Spooky Hook only because it does longer range, I believe. And you can use the Spiderweb Hook. Usually go for try to go for something. Why can't I? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Usually try to go for something that has longer range or just multiple hooks, like the Spiderweb or just the um, Spooky Hook. I believe there is a new hook. I'm not too sure. Um, this is the newer update with Duke Fish on, so don't count me on that. Um, I'm not completely new to the new update with Duke Fish on. I'm still trying to learn and like get used to like the fisherman dude and whatnot. I'm still trying to get all that, so try to spare me on this. Next up, guys, I usually try to carry two stacks of greater healing potions because if you can't say pull this out and doesn't give you enough health and time, these are always great to have. I usually use my potions for emergencies. Like, say if I'm like at one heart, I pop this out and then pull out my vampire knife so I could keep my health up from depleting and whatnot. And yeah, that's what I use. Next, guys, for the weapons, back to the weapons, I use the legendary um, Terra Blade. I usually use this for like enemies that are more far away. Uh, I can't really zoom out that much. But, um, like, say there's a mob way out there because as you guys can see, these vampire knives don't go out that very far. The paladin hammer does not go out that very far, and these do have great range. But say if you can't, if you're not next to the mob, it's not worth it. And then my death sickle right here. Uh oh, I screwed up. Wait. Okay. Sorry about that. But my death sickle right here doesn't even go that far. So 
that's why you use the Terra Blade. It goes out pretty far, has great range. I think, if I remember correctly, it keeps on going until it just hits something or just despawns, but that's always good. Next up, guys, I have the Legendary Death Sickle. The Death Sickle, in my opinion, is really, really great if you're hiding inside. For example, if you don't want to get hit by a mob and you want to stay inside and they're, like, crowding your door, what you just do is pull up the Death Sickle and just start holding it. It's a rapid fire, and you just stand still, and then it just does that for a while. And um, it is really, really great, too, for, like, crowd control, kind of. I like the Paladin Hammer more for crowd control, but the... Um, the Death Sickle is also good for crowd control, mostly to get out of your door and then you run away and whatnot, but other than that, that's pretty much all it's for. Alright guys, the last item that I have for my um, item usage bar thingy, whatever you want to call it, I don't really care, is the Christmas Pudding. I use the Christmas Pudding a lot more than any other food in the game, only because they they last a lot longer, it lasts for like half an hour long, and every other food I believe likes like, what, a minute, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen to twenty. But this one lasts the longest out of all of them, which is great because you don't have to worry about it for like half an hour, which is amazing, guys. You guys have no idea. But up next, guys, is my armor. For my armor, guys, I use the turtle armor. You can't replace this for the beetle armor. I believe there's, if I remember correctly, there's two versions of the beetle armor. I'm not 100% sure. I for, kind of forgot. Um, but you can use the beetle armor or the turtle armor. I like using the turtle armor. I also I do switch back and forth from beetle and turtle. It really does like not matter what you use for this build. Uh, for this build, sorry, I can't speak today. But um, yeah, like I said, you can switch out uh, from the beetle to turtle or turtle to beetle. It does not matter. But for my equipment, guys, all my equipment down here are all menacing only because they give me an extra four damage and that four damage for all this for what. There's just 20 extra damage right here all together. And yeah, that's amazing. It gives me an extra 20 damage up here. So this originally would be 145. But because I have uh, the extra 20 damage from all this, I get 165, which is amazing. So first up, I have the Ankh Shield, the Menacing Ankh Shield. This is the combo of the Ankh Charm and the Obsidian Cobalt Shield. If you guys do not know how to get those, I will have hopefully a tutorial pretty soon on how to get those. For those of you who are like longtime pros, you guys should already know how to get this. For those of you who are beginners, uh, the Obsidian Cobalt Shield, you get the Cobalt Shield from Skeleton's Dungeon, get that, and you get a bunch of Obsidian, so I think I get, you get an Obsidian Skull, combine it to make the Obsidian Shield, and the uh, Ankh Charm, uh, if I'm in the right area, let me show you, give me a second. I have to start making a bunch of these like equipment that help, that get, grant you immunity to certain items like right here. This one grants me immunity to weakness and broken armor. Uh, what else? There's another one. Yeah, immunity to silence and curse. Immunity to poison and bleeding. You go bind a bunch of those together to make you the Ankh Charm. And you go bind the Ankh Charm with the shield. It gets you this. And it's really amazing. It grants you four defense. Grants you immunity to knockback and fire blocks. And immunity to almost every single debuff in the game. Not every single one. There are some that that did leave out, which I mean, kind of makes it from OP and whatnot, but it makes sense. Next up, guys, I also have Spooky Wings. You can use the Duke Fish Run Rings. I think these are, uh, I think the Duke Fish Run Rings are better than the Spooky Wings. I'm not 100 sure, but it's whatever your opinion is for the wings that you want. You can use the best ones, use the worst ones. I highly suggest you use the best ones because they're the best ones. Next up, guys, I have the Celestial Stone. The Celestial Stone, in my opinion, is a great uh, part of this build because it grants you more damage, speed, or your melee speed, critical strike, life regen, defense, pickup speed, and the minion knockback. But because I am a tank class character, I don't use minions because I'm the tank, so I gotta do all the damage myself. But, um,. Everything else on there besides the mini knockback is amazing. You get the damage, defense, life regen, everything there is really, really helpful. Next up, guys, I use the Menacing Star Veil. The Menacing Star Veil, in my opinion, is one of the most important parts of this build because, um, if you don't know, it's the combo of the Star Cloak and the Star uh, the Cross Necklace, and those two together, whenever you take damage, um, a star will um, stars would be calls. Uh, whenever you take damage, uh, fuck. Whenever you take damage, stars will be uh, called down to attack your enemy. They won't like follow your enemy. They'll just 
fall down like right next to you so it helps you and also because of the cross necklace it grants you a visibility for a little short period like about a second long maybe a second and a half like 1.5 seconds but when you constantly keep on getting hit you keep on going invincible and whatnot it's just a great item in general and the last piece guys is the menacing destroyer emblem now i like this a lot i don't say this is an important part but it is also um a must have part for this build because you do get that 10 damage uh, that extra 10 damage a extra critical strike and because it is menacing i do get that for so all together i have 14 damage plus the 8 crit which is amazing now you can actually switch this out in my opinion you can switch this out for the um, boots if you don't like um if you don't like having the destroyer ammo you'll want you want to be fast you want to be quick moving it you want to be a quick tank and whatnot you can switch those out for uh the destroyer emblem for those frost spark boots or even the lightning boots it really does not matter the frost spark just grants you um extra mobility on ice which hopefully you're not on ice a lot but if you are then this is your, these are your boots but yeah guys that's it for this build um, I will, should hopefully have another two videos, maybe an extra video out this week. I have been gone a lot. I've been off for like what, two weeks? Mostly because I've been going to the dentist. I was, um, this yesterday I got my wisdom teeth pulled out, so I do kind of sound a little bit more weird. And I am using an Elgato that I'm borrowing from my friend. So I also should sound different because of that too. But yeah, so sorry about me being gone for like two weeks. I try to do a video every week at least maybe two or three just maybe even one but um yeah so both the guys check out my sponsorship that i recently got in like what last month i want to say they are called mastercrates.com if you go to their side they're like a loot crate type of thing you get um a loot um their master crate every month and this month i don't remember what it's in but um this month should be coming pretty soon like the end of april obviously like a loot crate does and if you guys use my code krovix you guys will get 5% um, off any purchase you make, which is always great. It's always great to have discounts, you know? Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it for this video. So I will see you all in the next video. Deuces.